Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at some Shadow Warrior gameplay running natively on Ubuntu 15.04. Now this game was recently released with the Humble Indie Bundle, the latest at the time of this video. This is running completely native at 1920x1080p, I'm going to be using my 360 controller, running on the latest NVIDIA 349.12 drivers. Now if I were to go into Options, Video, You'll see that I have everything set to Ultra. Let me just scroll down here. 1920x1080p, 16x9, FXAA, Ultra, everything is on. Only VSync is off so that we can go above 60 frames per second if possible. So far from what I can see, this port is an amazing port. The developers ported their own engine. You see, they made their engine from scratch, so they really know what they're doing. I'm just going to go ahead and click Resume Game here. I'm still at the beginning of the game. Now I am trying to record this at 60 FPS with simple screen recorder. I've had some issues in the, with a couple of my past recordings where it just flushes too much to the hard drive and then my comp system completely hangs because it's too much being pushed to the hard drive. So hopefully it doesn't do that this time. Just going to skip this part. Then skip this again. This is the prologue. Me uh, está two million dollar. <laughs> two million dollar. Uh, Mr. Wang, if I'm not wrong. Mr. Wang. Let's get this on. I'm going to skip this part. So we're seeing right off the bat what looks to be 60 frames per second. Now I'm going to let you know without the simple screen recorder, I get 120 frames per second. So understand that when I'm recording at 60 frames per second from the screen recorder, I am losing that much right now. So I'm literally losing 60 FPS from the screen recorder. And it's inevitable. I did try open broadcasting software project, but that thing isn't just a monster on resources. It also produces rather uh, less sharp results compared to simple screen recorder, regardless of what I set it to. That is one very big rabbit. Is that Mount Fuji? I think I'm in Japan. Japan Ichiban! Kawaii! <laughs> there is a kawaii guy somewhere here. Let me let me just go up. Leave. Run. Uh, I do not know how to run just yet. Now I'm using my 360 controller here because it has force feedback. This game does support force feedback very well. Uh, this is Mr. Kawaii. <laughs> Look at that face. My lord. It's like he got punched and eternally stayed that way. Alright, let's go in. I was hoping for a more Look at that water effects. I guess koi ponds you may start to hear my system in the background sooner or later as it starts to heat up. Because this game is really pushing it. And I'm recording at the same time. So yeah, that's, that's to be expected. Now I know this place very well because I played Visera Cleanup Detail and cleaned up all the dead bodies afterwards. I love that game. I really wish that game was ported to Linux. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this part and get right into the action. Oh, oh oops. Let me just skip this. Skip, skip. <laughs> Slice and dice. Best way to get these guys when they, right from behind when they can't defend anymore. Alright, just a uh, disclaimer. Very violent gameplay up ahead, not for kiddies. If you're a kid, don't watch. You might get scarred for life. <laughs> Slice and dice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, la la. Yep, the force feedback really works on the controller. It's awesome. Every time you get hit or you hit somebody, it shakes. And I just love that haptic feedback. Oh, slice and dice. Did I get your legs? Come on. Let me get the legs. 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 Sliced. Oh my god, poor guy. Oh. Oh, your legs too. Your legs too. <laughs> oh. I'm a bad man. Oh. Where and are you, you going? So apparently I've been sent here to get some sort of legendary sword. That's an antique. Now I have the money for it, but naturally I'm trying to force my way to get it. So now I can dash and run. So let me just go through a bit more of these battles and then I'll jump into window mode just to see how it works. So the blur works as well when I'm running. Oh, these guys just don't know how to protect their legs. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into windowed mode now. Alright, so I've gone ahead and started it in windowed mode. Let me just go to the options right here. I'm still controlling it with the controller. Let me go to video. So, it's at 1280 by 720. So basically 720p is the resolution of the screen right now. It's in windowed mode. But everything is still set to practically maximum that I can set it at. This is a really good port. Now, I think I forgot to save when I was playing just now, so it might put me right back at the start again. This really isn't a full-time gameplay video. This is just a wet your appetite sort of appetizer here. See what the game looks like and how it runs on Ubuntu. 
If you've got new hard hardware than mine, you're going to have a much better experience for sure. Remember that I'm recording this at 60 FPS, so I'm losing that much frames per second due to the screen recorder. I can achieve much more than this. Mr. Two million dollar. Let's get this fast. Let's get this done. Now, one thing that I can show you since we're in windowed mode is I can go ahead and show you what the... Let me see. Can I alt-tab out? I believe I can. Let's see. Let's see. The thermal temperatures for my graphics card right now does rise quite a bit to 54 degrees Celsius, 56 when it starts to get hectic. Let me put that down. And the CPU usage is pretty high once we go in. So it's utilizing all my cores and threads, which is good. It's not bottlenecking on any one thread or another. It's very high end once you push everything to the max. So let's get right into it. Briefcase full of cash. Uh, I'm Play. still at the beginning again. Okay, I'm just going to run through this. Ready for school, so the frame rates are higher when I'm in windowed mode, which is a good thing because the resolution is lower. But at the same time, it's still being eaten by the screen recorder and now by the Unity interface as well. You must expect that if you run games in windowed mode, be prepared to Shit. lose performance. I was I guess koi and cherry what am I going to do here? How do I run through this fast? I'm going to get through this very fast. This time I'll go to the right. I wonder if you can see screen tearing right here at this part if I'm in windowed mode. I'm curious. Oh, <laughs> I sliced his leg right off the bat. Oh, epic. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This is just a slash fest. Slash fest of the legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Jump and slice. Nope. Jump and slice. Nope. Jump and slice. Missed. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry at all. There goes the head. Oh, slice and dice. Slice and dice. Hmm. Oh, oh, I missed. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, let's go to Mizayaki. I think that's a joke on the name of Miyazaki, isn't it? The karate kid. I could be wrong there. Let me go get some health. Do I even need this stuff? Not really. Not really. Okay, I can dash. Let's break stuff. Break everything. Boom. By breaking everything, do I lose frames? I'm not sure. Go, another leg, another leg, another leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Can I do a slice down? Yeah, oh, ooh, did you see that? That was a perfect slice in half. That was beautiful. Well, not beautiful in a eloquent way, more in a sick way, but you, you get my feel. Okay, press X, I guess. Yep, press X. Oh, what the magic? You are a gifted warrior. Who do you work for? I'm not telling you shit. Ooh, movie scene. What the heck is that? Low Wang isn't gonna tell us shit. Low Wang. What? The fuck? Oh wait. So you me? You don't need to what tell us that? shit. What is that? I can see it steaming between your ears. Oh, oh what the magic. Oh, now I've never actually Ego played this game before. <laughs> Let's see. He lives in Akabari Heights, strings four roses bourbon, meat, collects comic books, and works for Orochi-sama? How did you? Orochi Sama? I was afraid of this. Scylla Enterprises, the innovation people. Talent that serves a poor master is a tree with rotted roots. It stands tall hmm. until kissed by the spring. Is he gonna kill me or not? He doesn't kill me. Why? I just killed all your people. Well, there we go. That is it Bring for the. In. What the? What is that? That. Take it off. Oh, that's Where me. Am I? What did you do to me back there? Hey, it's Master. a white fella. The grown-ups are talking. The grown-ups are talking. On, please. <laughs> As I said, he is unharmed. A token of my goodwill. Man, the graphics in this game look really nice. But the character models do have a sense, a certain peculiarity to them. So have you located the others? You have no idea what you're dealing with. You are a powerful man, Jula. Come on, let me go already. I'm still pretty impressed with the frame rates I'm getting even though I'm playing it in windowed mode right now. If you don't give up this sword, it puts you in grave danger. What do you say? I don't know. No, I need more time. Everything is under control. This is too soon. 
What's too soon? We need to leave. Now. This looks like it's gonna be another title for me that I'll get to play from beginning to end on Ubuntu for the first time. I've never played this game before, so it's gonna be a game that I only ever play on the Linux platform. Just like Bioshock Infinite and Dying Light, I never played those on any other platforms. A like a whore, C like champion. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh. I'm probably a bit racist here, I'm getting the jokes. Oh my goodness, so many movie scenes, just let me get back into action! What the hell are those? Are those monsters? This feels like Far Cry 3 where you're in a cage and you're seeing things happen outside. What the hell is that? What is that? Is that a spirit? Spirit warrior! Come on already, come on, let me go. I'm really surprised that I can still get above 60 frames per second in this game at ultra settings on my old card despite recording at 60 FPS at the same time. I think you might be able to hear my computer starting to heat up and this fan starting to spin really loud now. Alright, so I'm pretty much going to call it quits right here guys. This was pretty much just a quick look at the game to see what it like, performs like when full screen and windowed mode. It's a great port, it really is. So far, I've, I'm really impressed with the frame rates that you can get. The performance is absolutely amazing. The developers really know what they're doing. They ported the game engine and the game itself to Linux. So I'm very impressed there. If you haven't got it, go ahead and get it from the Humble Indie Bundle right now. Or in the future, if you're watching this video, then you can get it from the Steam store and most likely the Humble Bundle store. Let me get that sword. Alright, that is it guys. I'm going to call it quits here. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching.